He was also the patron of the Kenya Golf Union since 1977. 45 years. That's I have been speaking with the vice chair of the KGU and our chairman of Mothaiga Golf Club. And I have also consulted with my brother Jimmy and we feel that this should be an annual event. We will work with KGU and with the home of golf, to make it a well-sponsored annual event that will enable us and as many teams to sponsor and work with as many teams as possible to participate. Somebody asked me earlier, why don't we rotate it? And I'll say, if we rot rotate the Patrons Cup, we might lose it somewhere. <laughs> and two things come to mind. Number one, we are honoring Zenwai Kibaki, who was very consistent. We don't want to start something and we can't continue. Number two, this really was his club. If he was not at home on Chui Road, we knew he was here. It's, when they say, when I heard someone say Mutaiga is the home of golf, it was also our second home. So we will, if KGU allows, we will continue hosting and having the competition here at Motaiga Golf Club. As I mentioned, our late dad was very consistent and over the 45 years he was the patron of the Kenya Golf Union, as you've been told by KGU Vice Chair and our very own Tiger Golf Club Chairman. He did much to assist various golf clubs around the country. Some examples are reclaiming land that had been grabbed from the Italian club. And more recently, in recent years, he opened the second nine at that club. That, that, that was in 2015 which has enabled that club to now be a 15, an 18-year, an 18-year golf club. Uh, here in Mothaiga Golf Club, we remember him in 2004, about a year after he was sworn in as the head of state, requesting the army to come and assist in the landscaping as the Motaiga Golf Course was being redeveloped. The board is considering putting up a monument outside the Kenya Golf Union offices outside there in honor of the late president who was also the patron for all those years.